So we all know about the typical cartoon dad archetype in these animated TV sitcoms. I've mentioned it in my hate video against Jerry, but to keep it short and simple, the dad in every single one of these shows is a buffoon, a complete jackass. One of the most notable jackass fathers is Richard Watterson from The Amazing World of Gumball. And if you're familiar with this show and this character, you're probably going, what the, what the hell? He's a good dad? Yes. Well, for his standard, yes. Because Richard has probably the intelligence span of a five-year-old, he doesn't have a job, nor do I think he's ever had one. He's pretty lazy and not an overall good role model for the kids at all. But this does not mean he's a bad father. And even though Nicole is portrayed as like this super mom who can do just about anything, she needs Richard. I can remember in this one particular episode when Nicole gets a raise at her job and after telling her family and damn near everyone in the town, Richard gets sad that he doesn't feel appreciated and Ae suggests that he just go talk to Nicole about it. After attempting to do so, Nicole condescendingly says that they should go look at all of Richard's hard work, to which Richard showcases his unorthodox parenting skills, which seem to be effective but does not please Nicole. And after dissing him one last time, Richard goes on strike. The next day she realizes he's serious and still treats it as nothing. Even after Richard tells her that she won't last five minutes in the house, she arrogantly reminds him that she's employee of the month and that she can handle anything. Until she walks in on a destroyed house and a face full of raw chicken. As she runs to the kitchen, she also discovers that the whole house is rewired which causes her to meet her first gremlin child, Gremlin Anais, who she chases to now meet at the bottom of the stairs, Gremlin Gumball, then finally Gremlin Darwin. At this point, Nicole still has no idea that these creatures are her kids. She runs out of the house demanding an explanation from Richard, who is still on strike, to which he tells her that those things are their kids. And that's what happens when they are left unsupervised. Ashamed in defeat, Nicole asks Richard for help. Yes, Nicole is asking Richard for help. They discover that the gremlins have some old guy tied up and are about to launch his ass. This gives Richard the perfect stage to show off his parenting abilities to Nicole. He tells his gremlins that only one of them can have the old guy, to which they all fight to the point of exhaustion, turning them back to normal showing Nicole that he is indeed needed and should be appreciated. You see, I used to think Richard and Nicole were just awful parents, you know, because Nicole seems like a mentally unstable person with raging anger issues that she would often take out on her kids or anyone who looked at her funny. Plus, it seems like she had her whole family living in fear. But after getting a taste of the real world myself, and looking at all of Nicole's responsibilities, put that on top of her completely incompetent family, I realized I'd be on edge too if I were in her shoes. Richard took me a while though, because his childlike behavior on top of him being somewhat of a deadbeat, I didn't even understand how he'd even qualify to be a good parent or capable parent, but I realized that they're, they're not bad parents. Their method of parenting is just, different. Plus, that episode The Choices really opened my eyes about their relationship and unconditional love for each other. But yeah, comment more characters I should make vids on by the way. Thanks for watching.